Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as promised, here are the best dolls AG has made according to you lovely people who answered the question sticker on my Instagram story. I did this with the worst dolls and now we're doing it with the best. Again, these are just the opinions of my followers and this will be me reacting to them. Some I'll be like, okay, I agree with others. I'm like, meh, I'm not feeling it, but it's okay because if all of our opinions were the same, life would be pretty darn boring. So I did not pick every single doll because you guys gave me quite a lot of suggestions. I just picked either A, the ones that received the most votes, and B, the ones that didn't get as many, but I was like, oh my god, absolutely, I'm adding my own personal vote to this. I do have a surprise for you at the end of this video, and if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of already know what that is, but for those of you who do not, stay tuned for the end of the video because we have something super, super exciting to announce. But anyway, these aren't in any particular order. They're just in the order that they were suggested to me over on Instagram. So without further ado, let's start with the first one. Truly Me 58. This was one that received quite a number of votes and I was not surprised at all. This girl, I have yet to add to my collection. Don't know why. In the beginning, I was like, no, I don't really want her. And for some reason, I don't know. And then I was like, okay, wait, no, I need and then she retired. So that was a fun time for me. I just still haven't found her. I want a specific one and I haven't seen any that appeal to me and I'd like to get her brand new in box. But this girl is unique because she is an Addy Mold. For a while, she was like the only Addy Mold that they sold in the Truly Me line. And now I don't think there's any Addy Molds with the new Truly Me's, which is just absolutely ridiculous and uncalled for and her hairstyle is very unique as well because it is the short curls and I've never seen it in person but it looks like so bouncy and fun and I have seen where you put it in these little pigtails and oh my god she's adorable so I was really happy to see her on this list multiple times. Julie Albright received more votes than I ever thought she would. This was kind of surprising to me but also not so you know if you are new here you won't know my opinion on Julie Albright so let me break it down for you. Yes I own her because I have ever historical and I did like her when I was a kid because that's when I got her. But I think that Julie Albright has seen her light of day. Like she's just come and gone. She's just had way too many things released and she's just, She's very, very overrated for me, but again, since she is overrated and absolutely everywhere, thrown in your face all the time, she is the one doll American girl constantly uses and gives new things to. And I was not surprised to see her on this list because she's not a bad doll. I think if she just, you know, would have been dialed back a little bit more, I probably would like her more. But since she's kind of everywhere and I'm one of those people that I like to go against the trends. So like, I like Julie, but... I'm an Ivy lover at heart. <laughs> Speaking of Ivy Ling, she definitely was on this list and I completely agree with this. She also has some unique traits about her given that she is the only Jess Mold in the historical lineup, but unfortunately she is only a best friend and she has retired. So that is very, very sad. Also her collection was super, super tiny. So I feel like she doesn't get as much love as she deserves as well as her very unique short black hair with the bangs. Ivy's wig is like one of the softest wigs I've ever felt and I kept mine in pristine condition because she was my second to last doll as a kid so I never even changed her out of her meat outfit until like 2019 2020 ish and I got her the year she was released so Ivy is so pretty I love her I understand why she is a lot of people's holy grails or why she's a coveted doll for a lot of people like myself Claudia Wells got so many votes and I was so so incredibly happy I love this doll I think the community loves this doll more than American Girl itself because clearly they just really don't care about her and that's absolutely awful but this girl has one of the cutest faces i've been talking a lot about her because when she came out i think i filmed an entire week's worth of videos with her because she is so adorable she has one of the cutest collections i have ever seen she's very flushed out very developed and again the under promoting and terrible marketing for claudia is just ridiculous but i'm so so glad that the community has picked up on how incredible she is and we are doing the claudia you know her, we're giving her the recognition she absolutely deserves, and she was one of the top contenders that received the most votes, so I was so happy. Girl of the Year 2015, Grace Thomas, was also another popular vote receiver, I guess. I don't know. I was trying to say it cool, and then it just came out weird. Anyway, I agree with this completely. Grace has my favorite Girl of the Year collection, and I'm very glad that there are other people that love her as much as I do. My Grace is very special because my little cousin decided she didn't want her Grace anymore, so she gave her to me as a gift. So I always think of Lily when I look at this doll and her collection. Like I said, it's my favorite Girl of the Year collection. The only thing I don't like about Grace is the side bang thing, but I think it's done way better than Courtney's or Mary Ellen's. 
Corinne Tan got a few votes as well, and I was pleasantly surprised, but also, again, I wasn't because her face mold's super unique. She was also unique because she has the colored hair, but it was done in a very tasteful way that I felt safe enough adding her to my collection, because if you don't know, I do not collect the ones with the abnormally colored hair. I tried it. It didn't work out. But Corinne, I really loved her collection. I loved everything about her. I love that she gave us a new Welly Wisher, even though I don't collect those. I thought Gwen was a really nice addition, so I'm still glad Corinne has, you know, some fans out there. I like her, but she is sandwiched between Kira and Covey, two of my absolute favorites. Next, we have Kaya, who I do not need to offer any explanation or reason as to why she is on this list. She is. She is probably the reason the best IG dolls ever made exist because this is top tier, and I don't think they will ever put as much effort and research into creating any type of doll as they did Kaya. I feel like I've done my due diligence here because Truly Me 61 has made it on this list. If you don't know, I have this doll. She is one of my favorite dolls in my entire collection. I love my Lolita so much. She is so beautiful to take pictures of. Her hair is just immaculate. I really, really love this doll. And when I got her, you know, I didn't understand. Like I thought, okay, she's just, you know, mid. But I understand now why everyone has her. And I'm really, really glad that a lot of people seem to love her as much as I do. I was, I was completely shocked that she made this list, but I was so excited. <laughs> Josefina Montoya, absolutely. She was our first Josefina mold, obviously. Her collection offers a wide variety of bright colors. I love the bright colored skirts. I have talked about her collection isn't one of my favorites, but Josefina as a doll is very gorgeous. And for a long time, she did have my favorite mold, but then I was converted over to being a Jess mold lover. So, you know, but again, Josefina, super, super beautiful doll. Leah Clark, of course, made this list. You guys know this is my favorite doll to take pictures of over any of my customs because she's so incredibly photogenic. And I wanted her so bad when I got back into dolls. And she was actually the third doll I purchased when I, you know, return to the doll world, but she really, really is worth all the hype. My only issue with Leah is I don't really like her collection. I like one outfit, and that's the outfit I have, but I don't like the collection, but the doll is just fantastic. Kanani Akina, of course, you can't have a list without Kanani. So Kanani and I have a weird relationship. I have owned two Kananis in my life. One I customized into Chloe, and then I purchased another one who I actually really like. For some reason, I go through phases where I'm like, uh, Kanani, you're mid, and then all of a sudden I'm like, yes, Kanani, you're so worth the hype. She's incredible. Kanani's hair, I just recently flat ironed it again because her waves were coming out. So I was like, okay, we're gonna have your hair go straight for a little bit. I've been to Hawaii, and so whenever I look at Kanani, I think of Kauai, Hawaii, because that is our favorite island to vacation to, and I, my Kanani's middle name is Kauai, so I always think of that, and she just makes me, like, think of so many good, happy memories, and I just, I like her, okay? I, I was not collecting dolls, or I was on my hiatus, my too cool for dolls decade, as I call it. Obviously, that's completely sarcastic. I was not involved in all the initial Kanani hype, so I experienced that in phases when I look at my Kanani now. Number 62, of course, I do think she's very popular because of the tan skin Sonali mold. And this is like the only way you can get this mold unless you do a create your own. So I think they made one of the biggest mistakes they will ever make in retiring this doll. I love mine to death. I named her Navy and she's just so cute. And every friend of mine I know that has her just adores her and she's one of their favorites. She's not like my favorite Truly Me ever. I don't even think she's in my top three, which is kind of weird, but she is definitely, like she's, she's totally worth all the hype she gets. 118, okay, so I have her. She is my favorite from the new Truly Me revamp. This is my Kiara, and I love this doll. I know there's really no kind of middle ground with her. It's either you absolutely love her and you want her in your collection, or you're like, no, she is god awful. I do not want her at all. So I completely understand if she's not for you. It's totally cool. But I happen to absolutely love her, and I was really, really happy to see that others loved her too. 122 actually got more votes. She was so random. I was not expecting this. I do know a couple people that bought this doll. I have a couple friends. I have one who actually sold her a little bit after buying her. And then I have two friends that own her and they have nothing but good things to say about her. I think her bangs are very unique. I have seen all the new ones in person, but again, like there were so many of them, you kind of forget 
what everybody is and I'm still trying to learn the numbers of the ones that I forget exist but I think she's really cute I could see myself maybe adding her to my collection down the line there are only two of the new truly me's that I have left to get that I really really want she's not one of them but she's actually very cute Mia St. Clair I was so glad she was on this list you guys know my long story of how I love my Mia but I'm not gonna get into that her hazel eyes her unique freckle pattern I love her wig it's like one of my favorite wigs of all time and she's just she's adorable and she was the first ice skater i think is she like the only ice skater i don't know there's too many dolls it's too many years but i love mia she's amazing Addie is another kaya situation like do i even need to explain why she is here i love this doll so so much it took me a ridiculous long amount of time to get her but once i did i do have the be forever version but i seriously Addie is just iconic okay and she's beautiful she is one of the most stunning dolls american girl has ever made i don't understand why they don't use her mold more because it it's so cute she's just she's adorable and her hair i love playing with my addy's hair her cute little earrings oh my god addy yes you are perfect 10 out of 10 totally recommend cecile ray okay so i have said this before i like cecile but if you ask me to pick between the two i will pick marie grace I do like Cecile. Like I said, her meat dress is one of my absolute favorites. Her collection is so cute. She's absolutely breathtaking. And I understand why she has all the hype surrounding her. My biggest thing with Cecile, it's like with a couple other dolls, the stigma of, okay, this one is quote unquote rare. I'm going to price her like a one with completely disheveled hair and everything. I'm going to price her at like five to $600. We don't do that here. I got mine for under 200. Okay. We're, that's cool. But anyway, I love Cecile. She's really pretty. And this actually just reminded me, you guys, spoiler alert, Sonali Matthews was not on this list. And that makes me really glad. I am not a Sonali hater. I do have her. Um, she's just never been one that I've understood the hype for. Like dolls like Cecile, I get it. Okay. But Sonali, I'm just like, yeah, she created the mold, but she didn't really do anything else. Anyway, yeah, Cecile, super cute. Look at her. Look at her little ribbons. I wish mine had those. Jess McConnell gave us our very first Jess mold, obviously, and that's my favorite mold, so she's very important. She was also, like, one of my sister's favorite dolls in her collection when we were growing up. I never really understood the hype over Jess, except the mold, okay? I love the mold. Don't really like the collection. Don't really vibe with her any other way, but her mold gets her, you know, way higher on my list because it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Tenny Grant. This is the weirdest thing because this doll had a wide number of votes for the worst doll, but she also had a wide number of votes for the best doll. Again, this is a doll you either love her two pieces or you cannot stand her. I was indifferent, but then I found out that can't really be a thing. I, um, I had a Tenny and I did end up getting rid of her. I think I really only bought her for the wig, so if I could just buy a Tenny wig and then put it on a doll, I'd be fine. Her hands really bothered me and she kind of felt... I don't know if this makes sense. She kind of felt cheaper than the other dolls. I, I don't know. I, she has the Taylor Swift vibe, so of course, like, I'm inclined to like her. I love her collection. Just something about the doll just never resonated with me, and I was so shocked to see her on both lists. I think she's the only one that overlapped. Elizabeth Cole, absolutely. You guys know this is one of my ride or dies. I will fight for her till the end of time she is my favorite best friend and if you really ask me like who my favorite historical is it will be between elizabeth cole and kirsten larson who yep you guessed it she's on the list too my favorite my pride and joy the most underappreciated doll ever to exist right here ladies and gentlemen kirsten larson i am I think we should just start calling me like Kirsten's biggest fan because I feel like there's no other way of describing it. I am Kirsten's biggest fan who cannot afford her ridiculously priced collection on the secondhand market, <laughs> but I love her so much. And spoiler alert, Samantha and Molly were not in this list. So Kirsten is the only OG that made the list, and I 100% agree with that. Jess Kendrick, absolutely. I love this doll's face mold so much. I love her wig. It's one of my favorites. Her collection was not one of my favorites, though, but she actually, I love mine a little bit more, you know, for a couple different sentimental reasons, but disability representation with this girl is just, I, I was very, very happy to see them go in that direction, and I think they actually did it very, very well. 
I was really glad to see Nenea on this list because you either love her or she's one that you really do not like. Her face mold, it takes a little bit to get used to, but I think it's really cute and really unique, and she's got one of my favorite wigs as well. Caroline Abbott is an absolutely stunning doll with the most beautiful piercing eyes and the most difficult thing I've ever had to take care of. Oh, I mean, wig, wig. It's, it's a difficult thing to take care of, let me tell you, especially in a collection as large as mine, but I loved this doll when I discovered her existence. I was like, I need to make it my life's mission to get a Caroline, and she did not disappoint, especially mine, who knocks over everything and everyone that stands next to her. No, I don't make this up. This is actual, legit evidence. Every one that I put next to Caroline falls down. I don't know what it is. Caroline could be standing up perfectly fine. Doll next to her completely topples over. My doll is just, oh, my Caroline and I have some beef, let me tell you, but I love her so much. We are closing out with number four, and I think she definitely has one of the cutest molds. I don't know if I like it as much as the Jess mold, but it is very, very adorable. Now, I thought she was really cool, and then I was like, okay, no, I don't really, I don't want one. I don't need the hype. I don't need to, you know, spend hours and hours looking for this doll because she is another one of those that suffers from the, oh, she's the only type of her mold and she's retired, so I'm going to price her at this ridiculous amount of money. I decided I wasn't going to do that. And once I decided I wasn't going to do that, one popped up in great condition in the price range that I wanted to pay. So I bought her, and she will be joining the collection. So I need your guys' name suggestions for this girly because I it took me a month to name number 40. So let's not, let's not take that long with this girl. I'm so, so excited. I'm so grateful. Uh, you guys know. You know that I tell you all the time, just wait, patience pay off, and you will find that great deal. So I'm super, super excited. And I was able to sell a couple dolls. So that's kind of how I paid for her. I sold one and it paid for half of her. And then the other half, I was just like, okay, I've got this money. We're good. We're good. So you know what? It always pays off. It's always worth it. And I am so excited to see one in person because I never have before. There you have it, my friends. Some of the best dolls American Girl has ever made, according to my Instagram followers. If you want to be a part of fan-based videos like this, please go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at kyla.collects. Sometimes I do post questions here on YouTube as well, but for cool little short things like this, it's usually over on my Instagram. If you feel that there is a doll that did not make the list, please share her in the comments below. That'd be really awesome to hear all your opinions. Speaking of opinions, though, just remember, keep everything positive and respectful to myself and each other. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and tap that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody.